Greetings meat bags, bots, and any other sentient forms out there. Today Raxo performed one of his so-called covers for his supposedly dead and alleged friend. We have a pretty strong reason to believe she is just fine and never really was his friend. Nonetheless, he thinks she is slash was, so he wanted to honor her by feigning tears and saying stuff he probably heard in movies and or anime. Let's watch, and fear not, you won't be hearing him perform. What's up guys? This song I'm about to do, I would like to dedicate to a very, very close friend of mine that unfortunately took their life last night due to a cyberbully. Supposedly departed because CPS took her nephew away. The reason that happened was because you refused to do something as simple as sing a song without instruments. Is Marty wrong for putting you in that position? Sure, but Chance, he also gave you an opportunity to stop it. You ignored that opportunity, and as a result, you share the blame. Here, let me show you with an entirely different but identical situation. Now, for the purposes of this demonstration, imagine, if you can, being tested by God or whatever deity you believe in. He, she, it has put you in a room with two meat bags. One has his right arm attached to a counter and is wearing a hat. We'll call him Hat Guy. On the other side of the counter is a woman with a crazed look in her eyes and a sharp meat cleaver. She says she's going to cut Hat Guy's hand unless you get on your knees and beg her not to. No wonder they call it the Department of Pain! You have two options because the room has no exits. Option number one is to beg, like you were told. It's dehumanizing, embarrassing, and not something most meatbags would do with joy. But a little bit of personal discomfort in exchange for someone else's major pain is a no-brainer to even a half-brained meatbag. Sure, some dolt might make fun of you later for begging, but you'll be able to say, tell that to the hat guy. Your second option is to refuse. In that case, you're damning hat guy to definite hand loss. All because you were too proud to debase yourself for the good of someone else. I know what you're thinking, you're gonna say, Marty would have just done it anyway, bitch. You might be right, or you might be wrong. The only way to find out is to try. Going back to the hat guy's problem. Let's say you do beg, and crazy lady cuts him anyway. Guess what? It would not be your fault. At least you did what she told you to do. The fact that she followed through anyway is all on her. On the other hand, doing nothing basically locks you into sharing blame. After all, the psycho might not have done it if you beg. Maybe she just really wanted to see a stranger beg, but was also deadly serious about the threat. In that case, after the crazy person lets Hat Guy go, she goes with the police. Back to charity, Chance, all you had to do was sing. If Marty went through with it anyway, he would have been entirely to blame. And because I didn't get to say goodbye, this song is me saying goodbye. Chance, you aren't good at pretending to be sad. It's quite patronizing. If you can't manage any tears, skip the dramatics. And to my friend, I want you to know that I fucking miss you. And I'll never forget everything you've done for me. Hey, it's calling me back. Doing pretty good today, actually. Didn't throw up at all. Yeah, tomorrow I got this procedure. I think everything's going smooth there, though. Um, I'm hoping anyway. I won't let your death be in vain, I promise. Don't get 
Feeling healthy. Bye, Lise. Hey, Chance, part of being an adult is thinking about how your actions will affect others. When you decided your pride was more important than your friend, you might as well have been calling CPS yourself. But hey, don't worry. Chances are she's just fine and laughing her ass off at your gullibility. You're an all-day sucker, son.